Fantastic, Danny. Uh, what a wonderful uh, adventure we had in the later parts of July. We got to do a, a home sustainability assessor course, and this is a fairly new thing for Australia and the world for that matter, and we got to take part in one of the first ones. Yes, it was uh, a great bit of organisation, Tommy, to um, have, the, uh, have the course uh, being held here at the sanctuary. It was great to see all the different groups here uh, in Alice Springs get together and unite as a, uh, as a, um, uh, a sustainable front to make sure that these um, uh, projects and programs get out there amongst our community. That's right, Danny. And Home Sustainability Assessor, it's an, it's an interesting one. We've uh, spent the last 10 years here at Earth Sanctuary learning as much as we can about uh, sustainability, and uh, we've created the six major categories. We've looked at energy, water, shelter, food, uh, medicine, utilities, all these things that we found are very important. And it's nice to now see a, a government-based program trying to look at ways to get people into houses to get people who know a little bit about sustainability into houses to, to, to coach them and hopefully give them a better idea of uh, what they can do to uh, reduce their footprint on the planet. Well that's right so I mean look this this program's a start and uh, there's obviously a long way to go for um, for the uh, the community locally and nationally and obviously uh, internationally to, to get motivated and look at all your appliances and look at those fundamental areas that you just said so we can um, uh, start assessing the situation and start improving our lifestyle by looking at those basic things like your appliances and um, how often do you need to have them on, uh, are there um, uh, more efficient appliances that are available, uh, etc. So it's, uh, it's just a brilliant start for everyone involved. That's right, Danny. It's uh, very interesting what we learnt in this in this course. Uh, the, the bigger factors that we came out of it was looking at the energy use in a house and uh, uh, heating and cooling as well as our, our uh, hot water systems are by far anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of the uh, energy consumption in a house. So by majority, most houses need to look at that, those specific areas if you really are serious about reducing your CO2 uh, impact on the planet. And for that matter, it really came down to insulation and hot water systems. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Tommy, which is your R value or your, um, uh, your, your thermal uh, conductivity of your house or whatever you're living in. Um, there's obviously a variety of um, insulation materials that you can use, but obviously understanding about the thermal conductivity of your household will obviously um, uh, make you uh, more equipped to, uh, to obviously reduce your CO2 output at the end of the day. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit of a cracker and uh, for us it's a bit weird because we've been working on the uh, geodesic dome village. We know that there's better shapes, there's better dwelling shapes that you can work with. So we need to look at ways that we can uh, to put insulation to that house, look at things like drafts, our windows. Um, the most basic thing was shading, um, looking at where the sun rises east, where it sets in the west. How can we use shading to reduce that direct sunlight onto the house? And that, that works for us. We're in the desert, it's bloody hot over here. Uh, people in colder climates have to look at different things. Yeah, no, that's right, Tommy. It's, um, uh, and it's, as you said, look, it's just important for people to at least have that in their head about how they can reduce their CO2 um, uh, outputs by looking at just those basic areas of trying to keep your, your house cool uh, in uh, in summer and obviously warm in winter and that's got a lot to do with just your basic insulation and um, there's a variety of things out there that people can do to, to improve themselves so um, you can only have a, have a crack and just try things you know because there's different things work for different people in different climates. Very true and that's what it's about and in, on this HSA course we got to take some of the superstars of Alice Springs um, through the homestead itself to have a look at how we deal with uh, our CO2 reduction scheme and um, uh, this particular program is about getting uh, those people who know a little bit more than the average into the households of people around the world and we thought about this years ago when we uh, started our very own organisation we thought we've got to get people who do know into homes so they can chat about sustainability look at ways that they can personally improve their lives and uh, reduce their impact and uh, and this is a, a grassroots way of, of, uh, of getting change in society and uh, and uh, and having a future to uh, smile about. Yeah absolutely Tom and look you know we're We've um, learnt along the way over the past decade, this was our choice um, establishing Project Blue Star. We as a family could have gone into real estate or communications or whatever we wanted to do and obviously uh, probably more financial returns too but it's important that you know you, you, you 
turn the corner here and you get that direction right for you, your family and the safety and security of those around you. And um, here we are obviously at the homestead and this was fantastic having um, the who's who of Alice Springs and uh, there's some very intelligent people here in this, in this location and uh, we had this opportunity to take them through our homestead and what we've created and it was great to get the thumbs up from the team there on all our appliances and how we're um, running the house and it's a little bit like that from doing this course you really drive your house you know you've got to get into you know, the pilot seat and look at you know um, look at your energy use and where, whether it's coming from refrigeration or heating or cooling and just start getting in front of it and controlling it and having um, uh, a better understanding of, um, of what's coming into your house and going out in relation to energy. Yeah that's right Danny it's a bit like a lot of people can uh, relate to the bean counters of the world they call them accountants we see it as expanding that accountability so it's not just about money and, and the economy it's about looking at all the things in our life and especially our energy and the way we, uh, that we live our lives and actually incorporating that into the way we actually uh, uh, do our sums, add it up. You know, accountability is uh, we can no longer externalise the energy we use as something that just happens and we work it out later. We now have to look at uh, uh, how much we're using. Our very lifestyle was a, a key factor in all of this. You can change to solar hot water, you can get solar power, um, you can get wind power, all these wonderful things. You can get high R value rating on your house, but you personally have to change the way you live to really have a serious impact on your uh, not only your CO2 reduction, but ultimately uh, your life, your lifestyle. Absolutely, so, I mean, and look, the way that we do this and um, we're living it here and we're amongst it, but we look at our Mondays as our Monday maintenance and if you can put down the things in your house just to keep yourself refreshed in these areas, um, it makes things a little bit easier for you to obviously go over um, uh, your energy, those areas you talked about, your utilities, um, look at your wellbeing, look at your, like you're just saying Tommy, you're the driver in all this, you know, is, do you, meditation's a wonderful, wonderful environment to, to get um, hooked into and that can drive you as well. These are all important areas which Millicom introduced several years ago and look, and you know, if you don't use our system, use your own system, just get activated and you know, you, you don't look back. Indeed, it is about getting personally active and uh, home sustainability assessors is what we felt everyone can be. Um, you have to be the pilot in your own house and, uh, and start small, put up a bit of a planner, have a look around at what you're actually using and uh, be one of the agents for change on this planet. What a great course it was and uh, I think we learnt a lot from this in, in how you can go about, about assessing your house personally and um, I think uh, what we've learnt from it is that maybe we can get the, the learnings of becoming a home sustainability assessor uh, into the living rooms of people so that they can find out how they can go about those very things themselves and do yeah. their own assessment. Absolutely Tommy, it was great to have the team here at Earth Sanctuary, it was great for the team to fly in from the east coast to, uh, to again to um, look after uh, the Alice Springs mob here and uh, another great step forward for, uh, for Earth Sanctuary and um, go sustainability. Where are we Tommy? Oh Danny it's very exciting, we're on a Friday, it's the 24th day of July and we're at the culmination of the home sustainability assessment course, we're in Alice Springs and better yet we're at Earth Sanctuary and the very best minds of the world are here they're putting their minds to the test at how sustainability can be made a reality there's, there's for the two future. of them right there yeah, look at that. the two epiphany members as we speak they've just finished the exam how do they feel I want to know how do you feel gentlemen <laughs> pumped give me a house to go to <laughs> the, the, the world is a better place already and Sam here I can tell he's done well he's excited look at that he's he's like doing bucks. that's right Take your 50 bucks it's about getting out there now and getting every single household sold okay. on the idea Let's of sustainability. Let's go annoy the last people in the exam now. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, eh? Be very quiet. Very bloody quiet. It's a bit serious in there because they're thinking about the big questions about who they are, what they are and will the future survive if we stop so is this a good thing, Tommy, to have uh, all these people uh, here doing the course? Yeah, Danny, it's a, it's a crack. If you're going to have a home sustainability assessor course, it might as well be in a renewable energy uh, centre. So uh, I think it's a thumbs up and it's a good day for it. We might crack open a beer in celebration of this movement. Let's go. How's the parents-in-law?
That's right, Danny. And uh, so from the Home Sustainability Assessor, we've got a couple of things coming up. We've got uh, dome projects continue, but our big focus at the moment, we've got the star shows, kicking goals, and the, and, the, and the Earth School program for kids, which is uh, gearing up very nicely. And uh, it comes down to education and, and travel as we're trying to get to of all walks of life. And uh, the campaign's going well. Good on you, folks. Good to hang out with you. We'll see you on the next transmission.